Hello, everyone. Hi, my name is Dr. Lisa. This is Heart of Inspiration. And I uh, am coming to you really quick. And this will not be a long video. I'm coming to you quickly so we can talk about uh, the YSL trial. You guys know I've been doing, I, I guess we could call it fun. Um, but I've, I've been taking my own take on the YSL trial. I've come to you with some information, like I did a reading on um, Judge Whitaker, on ADA Love, um, their, you know, their personalities, what I was seeing in in their charts and things of that nature. And then we've talked about since all the plea deals, what, you know, what it looks like there. Um, I've been on my girl, Cat Not Williams. Um, go, go find Miss Cat Not Williams, please. I'm going to put a link. Hopefully I'll get a link to her um, right here. Um, <clears throat> YouTube channel. Um, but I've been on there and I've, you know, accurately predicted um, directed verdicts and how many and all that kind of stuff. So we're now at the, at the jury stage, at the jury phase, and I uh, am ready to, I wanted to just share with you what I was seeing um, in the charts as it relates to um, what I think, whether or not we'll get to, to a verdict today what I think the verdict may or may not be. I'm going to actually change this background so it's not so cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs for y'all. Okay. Um, and, you know, just what I, kind of what I think, what I see, okay? And, and we're just going to, again, not have fun with this, but I think you guys understand what I mean. Like, we're just, we're just going to discuss it, all right? So the first thing I want to really um, go over with you guys is I'm sure some of you guys know that we are in what's called Mercury retrograde. And that's when from the perspective of Earth, Mercury looks like it's going backwards in its orbital, you know, direction. Um, Mercury retrograde, a lot of people like, ah, they get crazed out and freaked out about it, right? There's nothing to get crazed about. There's nothing to get freaked out about, guys. All Mercury retrograde is, is yes, it, it can impact things like technology. Like right before I came on here and recorded this, my computer decided it wanted to reboot and restart. But anyway, um, short-term travel, things like that. But I want you to look at Mercury retrograde as a way of either um, reviewing things that have occurred, thought patterns, um, uh, programming in our mind. Um, the way things have been presented to us, what we've been told, all that kind of stuff. Reviewing all of that, reviewing, is it really serving you? Reviewing how you thought about people, how you viewed people, how you viewed situations, what's good for you. Um, this is not a good time for you to go back to, to your ex and we'll do another video on my channel. I always do that, talking about Mercury Retrograde. But um, I want to put this in perspective of what we've got going on right now, which is this trial. And I think Mercury retrograde, which is right here in Sagittarius, while we are in Sagittarius season, is actually really good. And why am I why am I saying that? This is a great time for people to contemplate information that they have received over a period of time. This is a great time for people to contemplate information they've received over a long time period of time. So if I'm going to want jurors to be looking over a year's worth of information and contemplating it and seeing what they really think about it, this is actually a perfect astrological time for that to be happening. Okay. Um, also, Mercury retrograde happening in Sagittarius is kind of like that energy of screw the man. It's kind of like the energy of power to the people. It's kind of like, hey, how have these people been oppressed? How are they have been, they've been done wrong? This is really a questioning. Uh, and, and, and I'm going to put that in conjunction with the fact that we have Pluto in Aquarius fully. So we have fully entered into the age of Aquarius. 
And that is all of this personal transformation about how we look at the, the collective, how we look at um, humanity, community, what's good for community, what we need to change about how community is being dealt with, all kinds of different things. Um, so this is good. I, I feel like that bodes well for the defense, very much so. Another thing that bodes well for defense, for the defense is the moon today uh, started out, by the end of the day, I'll be in Scorpio. But for right now, as I ran this just a little bit ago, it is in Libra, which means they they are looking at everything. The jury is looking at everything, desperately seeking justice. Not retribution, desperately seeking justice. And that is trining our by degree, or no, excuse me, sextiling. That is sextiling, meaning it's kind of a cousin to, meaning it's in agreement with Mercury in retrograde and the sun. That's a wonderful, what, actually it's directly sextiling, Mercury in retrograde, which says as they're contemplating everything, they're going to be seeking justice. They don't want garbage, they want justice. They need those scales balanced. And the fact that also the uh, moon's south node is in Libra also says they're going to revert back to what they know, not what they're being told. They're going to go back to what just makes common sense. All good for the defense. Now, the other thing that I see that's excellent for the defense is we have Mercury in retrograde and it is in direct opposition, not close enough, to Jupiter in retrograde in Gemini. And then that is then trining the moon in Libra. What does all that mean? That Whenever you have two planets in opposition to one another, it kind of illuminates them both. It 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 brings up what could be an an a, opposite like an opposing point of view. It could it brings up what's the rub, but it also says, you know what, maybe my maybe this energy, how I've utilized it before is flawed and I have to rethink it. Like it just like really illuminates everything. Jupiter in retrograde in Gemini means I they are going to be less likely to be willing to go off the ledge, off the reservation, as they say, and adopt some concept that is extremely foreign that they need to gift this to. In other words, I feel very strongly this leans less to new ideas and this leans less towards circumstantial evidence being accepted as truth. They are less likely to go with any kind of far out, way out uh, theor theories that cannot be proven by common sense, the law, and what they see and know and hear. They are much less likely to take into account and, and to accept grandiose type testimony. They are much less likely to accept, well, you know, you had to go back behind this building and cross five streets and then that's when they got into a car or we don't know what happened to the watch or, oh, definitely, you know, like, oh, they were in possession because they were somewhere in the five, the tri-county area. Like they're not good. They, this is not, this ain't the time. They're, they, this is, this all gives to practicality and not some way out like concept. And then also because it is trining or kind of brother sister to the moon in uh, Libra, along with the South Node in Libra, again, this has got to, uh, the scales must be balanced and they are less likely to gift the idea, the concept that, well, maybe we could do something wild and wacky, all right? Um, also, we have Mercury in retrograde uh, that is trining Mars in Leo, excuse me, the sun. The sun is trining in Sagittarius is trying the Mars Mars and Leo. They're going to want to make a statement. They're going to want to make a statement. 
This lends to questioning loyalty. This lends to less questioning truthfulness. This lends to questioning people's bravado. Were they extremely like what have you? And they're going to want to make a statement in this in this case. I don't know that I would if I'm the state. I'm happy with that either. What else do I see that really could be interesting? Kind of on a side note, we do have Saturn in Pisces that is squaring Jupiter again. If it's if if it seems like it's structured and 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 created in Dreamland, they're probably that they're not really feeling that too much, and that's also squaring the sun. So in Sagittarius, so they're like. Hmm? We would much rather structure, we would much rather create a utopian structure that allows for the general population and the community to prosper rather than buy into the dreams and machinations of uh, any governmental institution. Um, What else do I think really plays into this? I mean, we could say that Pluto and Uranus, I, I just I don't think that this is going to, I think these, what I've talked about to me, has the most weight. So what does that mean to, what is that, what am I saying? Do I think that they'll come to a decision today? I think it's highly likely that they will, at least with one of the, at least with one. I don't know if they're going to get both, but I think they'll get at least one today. I think they want to go home. I don't think they want to deal with all this. Over the way. They, they, they're done. They've been here for a year. Um, and they're very laser focused on, listen, what was all the, there was a bunch of stuff that was not really important. And now there's a bunch of stuff that I think, you know what I'm saying? So um, I, I just, I, I do feel very, 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 very strongly. This bodes well. If they come to a decision today, it bodes well for not guilty all around the horn. For everybody, I don't even see this for sh- again because they're going to want to make a statement. I don't see Shannon Stillwell even getting one of the lesser charges. I don't believe that they'll do that. I don't believe they'll find them guilty of Rico. I don't believe they'll find them get Shannon potentially of gang activity, but I don't see it. I think they want to me, they're wanting to make a statement, and I don't think that that is going to bode well at all. All right, gang, that's what I think. Now, again, this is intuitive. This is allegedly, this is my opinion, how I'm reading the charts, how I'm reading the energy. Take it for what it's worth. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Um, but Diamantri Kendrick, yak, I, no, he's, I don't, I, I, he's not guilty all the way around the horn. I, I would need Shannon Stilwell's um, birth date and birth, pace of birth, and I could probably figure out a little bit more about him. Um, I'd be interested in that. And if you'd be interested in that, let me know, okay? Uh, We will get back to you guys a little bit later on. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you guys immensely so much. Namaste. Bye, gang.